Hello everyone. In this Hilding Shorts, I am going to talk about Pemphigus vulgaris, which is a life-threatening autoimmune blistering disorder of skin, where autoantibodies will be causing dissolution of intercellular attachment within the epidermis and mucosal epithelium, right? And age group affected by them will be 30 to 60 years of the age group. In these patients, basically IgG antibodies are formed against the protein called desmoglein 1 and desmoglein 3. So it is both desmoglein 1 and 3 and this will cause damage of the intercellular adhesion, right? And that will lead to the formation of bulla and blister, which will be a supra basal blister within the epidermis. In this, if you look at the histopathological examination of the epidermis, you will notice they are having acantholysis, right? So that Desmoglein 1 and 3 has been damaged and now the attachment of the two cells will be damaged and they will be dissociated. And because of that, there will be intercellular clifting also. And this will lead to the intraepithelial blister. So now you can see this clear space is intraepithelial blister. And this intraepithelial blister, if you see carefully, you can notice there are basal cells, right? So there are basal cells, all these basal cells and these blisters are above the basal cells. So they are called as intra. These are called as intraepidermal blister or supra basal blister because they are above the basal layer. So supra basal blisters are present in the pemphigus vulgaris, right? And if you look at this, if I have shown you this thing, right? So this, these are all looking like a row of tombstone as you can see here. So that is why tombstone like basal cell. So row of tombstone like basal cell, supra basal blister, acantholysis, all these things are in favor of pemphigus vulgaris on histopathological examination. When you see them on uh, immunofluorescence microscopy, which is a direct immunofluorescence microscopy, you will see deposition of the IgG immunoglobulin at the plasma membrane. So this deposition is looking as a bright yellow green in appearance, right? So these are the deposition of IgG along the plasma membrane of keratinocytes. So as a result, what you are seeing, you are looking at them which is showing a fishnet or reticular pattern of immunofluorescence that is the diagnostic feature of the pemphigus vulgaris. Supra basal blister, row of tombstone like basal cell appearance, acantholysis and fishnet or reticular pattern of immunofluorescence microscopy. These are all in favor of pemphigus vulgaris. Keep learning, enjoy learning and best wishes for your exams.